enjoying the opportunity. Technical warfare? Is that what you're saying? I've been enjoying the opportunity to spend the last two days uh, wandering. Leaping? Wandering among the halls of technological advancement. Weren't you leaping? I was leaping. I already leapt. Did you see Hassan today? He was there? Yeah. No way. Yeah, no, I, saw, I didn't see him. I saw him post about it, so I'm sure you were Bro, there. a lot of people are there. Like, I saw yes. so many people who were just working in different, uh, you know, government entities. People were curious. People were there because they set up their own booths. So it was, it's a great opportunity to reconnect with people. And it's a great opportunity to know what's actually going on. Because it's quite advanced, like from what I've seen, the discussions that... Can are, you tell people what the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about? about the current Leap Tech conference that's happening in Riyadh, which which <laughs> is supposedly announced and all over like the streets and stuff. Nah, no. it, well, I don't think it was properly uh, communicated. Really? Yeah, it wasn't. It's on like the literal street signs. Oh, yeah, because we always pay attention to street signs. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, the, remember that street sign the other day? The one that says, watch out for fog. <laughs> it says, in a conference sleep. So, oh yeah, it's, it's, really, it's a really great conference. I've been really enjoying it. I've been attending a lot of the panels. So they have basically four stages set up uh, with panel discussions running throughout the whole day in addition to the keynote stage. The Riyadh front exhibition space is huge. So it's literally filled to the brim with, with all these companies, local, international, uh, your big tech companies, Microsoft, Mobile has a huge uh, uh, booth as well. STC is one of the main sponsors. It's crazy how big their booth is. So it's just basically showcasing all the technical innovation that's that's available right now and that's coming in the future. So companies are showcasing their services. People are doing businesses. Yeah, it's, it's a B, very B2B. Yeah, very B2B. But at the same time, it's like for me, for somebody who's not really looking to talk to a lot of companies, I'm more interested in discussions. Or, or, or techie. Well, I, I do feel like I'm. No, you're not. Somewhat. No, you're not. No, 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 no. You are not. No. Yeah. When did you turn on Siri on your phone? That's not the measure. I asked you a question, champ. So you did just answer it. Just tell me when. When did you start using Siri on your phone? In the last three months. Like once, maybe. To prove a point. <laughs> to prove a point that you've never used Siri before. Never used Siri <laughs> you before. just turned out Siri. Yeah. When did you start using your fingerprint on anything that has that's that's tech? As soon as I got a laptop that has when a fingerprint was scanner. When was it? Uh, a few months ago. Hello. Yeah. So do you remember the iPhone when it had a finger scanner before? I didn't believe in that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not a techie person. Uh, no, I I am. I am. Like I follow tech innovation. You are not a techie person, yeah, Shamsi. Right. When I think about tech, I don't think about Shamsi. I follow the innovation. I don't no, you don't. You follow what's in front it. of you. Well, which is usually innovation, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go, you know what? Give me your iPhone. <laughs> okay. Open up Twitter. Okay. All right. Record video. No, I want to show the folk. No, no, <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. I'm going to show what you're following. Probably, it's probably not <laughs> updated at, to that point. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. my, my Twitter update is still from 2017. Yes. Yes, I haven't updated my Twitter. Much. I use a different Twitter app. All right, you know what? A a phone. We'll be here for a minute. Remember, a phone. Turks is busy doing something in the back. I hope yeah. he finishes. Yeah. Yeah. Take his time, I guess. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Excuse me. It is uh, very dusty weather in this room. In this room. In this room. What's happening, everybody? It's your boy. I had to pop. It was good. Episode 126. Six, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We are lonely today. As, as no, not. Turks is sitting behind us. He's, he's just yeah, up there. He's working. He's, yeah. He's, he's working. Oh, there. Turks is working. He's not engaging. <laughs> We got Turks right behind me, your boy. I got Turks right behind me. I got Shamsi right next hello, to me. Hello. Welcome to Pastor Kepso. Uh, today is Thursday, and Thursday we ask questions. Shamsi was just talking about his uh, leap thingy where he went and saw some techie things, and it was good. It was metaverse conversations going on. All right, you want to get you, you want to get into that real quick, or should we just? So no, there's okay. So they had four basically panels: one about fintech, one about smart cities, another one about uh, energy usage, and a fourth one about the fourth industrial revolution. So each of these panels had speakers talking about their own subjects. The ones I was interested in were, were all related to either blockchain or uh, metaverse usage. How was uh, the conversations? A few of them were good. Mm. A few of them- That uh, took a minute. Yeah, a few of them were good. <laughs> that a few, took a minute. A few of them, uh, that's the thing. At some point, when you watch the conversation about a subject, you keep repeating the same talking points. You keep hearing the same talking points. So I switched it up a bit. I ended up going to the smart city uh, panel. I spent uh, a lot of time there as well. 
So it's um, there's tomorrow they're doing something about creative entrepreneurship for people who are interested. Mm-hmm. You can register and sign up there on their website. The way you're talking, people may think they were sponsored. I mean, you're I, tiptoeing, my guy. I'm being <laughs> you're tiptoeing. I like the text. I like the text. <laughs> you're tiptoeing. Yeah. So tiptoe. Questions. 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 Let's start with the question. All right. You are conducting job interviews. A giraffe, a bitch ass tiger. Literally it says a bitch ass tiger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, need, I need to visualize that. <laughs> yes. Okay. And a cow have applied. Who would you rather hire? A giraffe, a bitch ass tiger, <laughs> or a cow? I mean, uh, definitely not a bitch ass tiger. What do you mean? That's the first person I hire. <laughs> really? <laughs> you already know he's a bitch ass. Okay. Like, so- you already set. So you know how to categorize him? Yeah, because the giraffe's going to be a problem, bro. You got you to update your ceilings and shit. Yeah, I don't need the giraffe. Yeah, the giraffe's going to be too much of an I'm issue. I'm thinking the cow is going to be quite wise in his in his in in her uh, judgment mm, of, of affairs. Good yeah. save. Yeah. Good save. Yes. Good save. Good save. So, all right. Because cows embody that that uh, nourish, but, nourishment. Yeah, but cows are givers. They're not takers. Okay, so it's going <laughs> to okay, give a lot in high. this job. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this job is going to end up all about serving. I'll go for the tiger. I mean, listen. Uh, I go for a tiger. What, what okay, first of all, why did you go for a cow? I, I know, I know what the cow offers. What does a bitch Milk. ass tiger? Okay, what does a bitch ass tiger offer? Bitchiness. <laughs> <laughs> like I can get that from a cat. I don't need a tiger. I don't need a full size tiger for that. Right? Okay. Okay. So you see, you trumped my argument. Very right high maintenance. You know. Very high maintenance. No, bro. Bro, you, you, a tiger is not very, especially a bitch ass tiger. Bro, what actually, you, no, a bitch ass tiger is very. What high are you getting a bitch ass tiger for lunch? Look, it's a bitch ass tiger. He must be vegan. That's what I'm thinking, right? And is, is, this is, is he, where I dodge. <laughs> Wait, is he related related to the was it vegan vegan to vegan lion? Or is it hippie lion? Yes, it was a vegan lion. Was a yes, vegan yes, lion. it was a vegan lion. Okay. By the way, this is sauce of mango. I have no no shit. No shit. <laughs> okay. I see a trend here. All right, okay. Next question. Next one. All right. Why are people <laughs> why are people more obsessed with chickens crossing roads than dancing poet chickens? Than dancing poet chickens? Yes. Do they exist? I've never seen a dancing poet Afa. chicken. You haven't seen a dancing poet chicken? I mean, I've seen do, like chicken ads on TV. They usually have. You've never seen a dancing poet chicken? No. You're not joking? Not joking. I'm sure you did. Where would I have seen that? The same place. If you saw hammam. Okay. There's a dancing poet chicken. The Dekka saw the hammam? Yeah, Dekka. <laughs> Turks, I miss yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Turks, I miss you, Turks. I mean, we, <laughs> Turks. We had BB guns. Turks is like, well, you fuck this. Yo, I'm gonna call Turks. We used to shoot. No, no, no. no. Used, oh, no hold on, hold on. Shoot them. Hold on. I'm gonna fuck if it's an international folk. I need to call Turks. I mean, I miss you, Turks. We were in very animal welfare. I'm friendly. about to say, I thought Turks' bitch ass had no what's name. Oh, okay. I thought he didn't have FaceTime. I was about to get angry real quick. Like, yeah, he's he's quite techy himself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know he's not gonna answer. Oh, I forgot. So sorry. Oh. I mean, you're actually calling him even that much. I'm, I'm calling him even with like with my. Oh, my bad, yo. Hey, Turks, what's happening? Fuck y'all, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, friend. Bro, the fuck y'all doing? So there's a question, right? The question is this: what? Why are people more obsessed with chickens crossing roads than dancing poet chickens? Dancing what? Poet chickens. Because I haven't heard of them. That's, really? That's there we go. I just told Shamsi. I was like, "Do you haven't seen one?" He's like, "I've never seen one." I was like, "Tell me, He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Who was there?" And he's like, "Okay, I know the I mean, <laughs> I was like, I'm sure you do." Why'd you go there? Why'd you go there? I mean, <laughs> I mean we used to shoot them with it's BB cheap. guns. That's what we used to do. Hi, hi. Hello. <laughs> well, we miss you, Terry. Wish you were here. Fuck off. I mean, oh, are you enjoying okay, the, the expo? <laughs> <Are you, laughs> <please laughs> tell us your views. God damn. Bye, bye. 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 Yeah, fuck off. Yo, look up in his face. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the fuck was you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're not, not going to tell our boy like that. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just. He was fully clothed. I'm, and he was alone in his room. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Not sure fully is the right word there. I like to say that Turks is officially single now. Yeah. <laughs> he, he still has no idea. How, FYI. Yeah, he's going to figure out real soon. Anyway, I got a couple of questions here that I really... Yo, fuck, fuck, yeah, the fuck, the fuck the chicken. Fuck the chicken. Fuck the chicken. Fuck the chicken. All right, let's take it here. Yeah, let's go. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Why do... No, this, uh, no. Okay. Let's go, let's go deep. Let's go deep for a second. All right. Burnout. The causes... 
how to prevent it and how to recover. It sounds like a book. Okay. The causes, modern life. Uh, well, not only modern life. No, come on. You can't just blame everything on life. Yeah. You you have to live. No, you, you are in life. No, but that's that's the the cause of burnout. Like the cause of burnout may be not enough rest. Excessive stress. Excessive. Well, look, uh, can I tell you something about stress and my personal opinion that mm. I know everybody's gonna disagree with? Mm. Even if you have nothing in life, you will find something to stress about. It's just about how much stress are you putting on yourself on that subject. I mean, that's what I'm saying, excessive. You know, stress is regular. You're stressed out because you're late for a meeting. You're you're stressed out because, you know, you forgot to. What's excessive? I mean, it's a combination of factors. It's not one thing. It might okay. come from work. It might come from usually work contributes a large part. I'm about to say because it sounds like lawyer Shamsi for a second. No, usually work contributes a large part. A uh, family might be a big part oh, contributor of stress, or it could be a big source of stress relief. On on the other hand. It's actually both. Like, you know, think about it. Like, you know, you're happy to see your family. At the same time, you need to provide for your family. That's one way. Well, that's one way to cut the, the issue. Like, at the same time, some people have, like, you know, it depends on your status of the family and your relationship within them. How much you have to provide on opposed to how much you... Look, I did everything that I can think of to avoid burnout. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. But the thing that I keep, like, I tried, I tried the gym thing. Where hit the gym every day. I mean, they say it's a good oh, it's, stress oh, reliever. Of course. No, it's not. Isn't it? I, I, I do not know what is a stress reliever about the gym. I'm not stressed at the gym and I'm not releasing stress at the gym. Like, it's like I'm there to do things. I'm there to work out. Like, I'm, I'm there. I have energy that I'm trying to take out during my workout. Okay. Well, that's, that's the... Right? That's the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not there saying, ah. Oh. No, <laughs> just kicking back and just lifting weights. A cool 25k. You have, you have pent up energy. You let it out. Your body responds in positive ways. Yeah, but think about this: like you, you work all day. You go to the gym. You still provide for your family. Like life is a fucking hassle. You cannot go without stress and managing burnouts. is not something that you can really manage. Well, burnouts is something that you're not even gonna fucking catch. You can, you can, like you used to always warn me. You got, you're gonna burn out. You're gonna burn out. You're gonna burn out. Like, you never know when you're going to burn out. Different people have different tolerance levels. I mean, you, you don't even know your own tolerances for burning out. No, but keep in mind, one thing we forgot to mention here is the fact that we live in a, a pandemic-infested world. Well, no, let's talk, I'm not even including pandemic. Yeah, but so that's, that's... But, like, for example, do you know... Do you know where's there for a lot of people. Like, you know when you're about to burn out, right? But you don't know that you're on your way to burn out. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, let's say, if I give you two projects, right? One project you're actually interested in and you really want to get it done. Another one, let's say it's a bit of a long term, mm. but you really want to do it. Mm. Both of them can burn you out in different ways. Even the one that you love, you know, even if you're, you're timing it perfectly, you're doing it at the right time, it can find a way to burn you out. So you will never know that you're on your way to burn out, but you will burn out. So it, I think the better question is, what do you do after you burn out? More than preventing it, because you won't really know. Because you can work hard on something and never burn out. Well, see, that's the thing. Different, it builds up gradually over time, right? And 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 the the edge where you fall off, it might come, it might never come. You know, something might crash somewhere and lead you to fall down that edge. So at that point, how do you recover from burnout? I mean, try to try to find that source of 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 major uh, breakage and and release it for a second or just step back for a minute that sounds like someone who never got burned out <laughs> no you know is that possible like yo if you're at if work, you get, look if you get burned out take you, a few days off no, no, no. here's the problem with burning out now look you know the whole thing of you know, take a few days off and come back mm. i don't believe in that shit you know why mm. because the time that you take off it's like when you're trying to deal with it you're trying to come to peace with it trying to make yourself go back to where you are it's a process. So if you know you have three days and you need to go and switch it back on again, those three days are going to be stressful because you're trying to switch that bitch back on again. So we go back to modern life. <laughs> See, that's, that's what modern life does to you, bro. You, so, get, you get no breaks. So escape modern life. I mean, listen. It's cool. It's all about balance. Okay. <laughs> no, but for real. It's all about way. balance. Just try, try to find balance in things. Like if you, like I always preach, don't overwork yourself. For a lot of people, they're career driven. They find, you know, they, they enjoy their jobs. Mm. They end up putting on long hours. 
Mm. Okay. And then at some point they realize this has become the norm and this has become their day to day. And I feel like, you know what? No, reduce that. Find more things you enjoy doing and go and do that. Whether it's family, whether it's hobbies, whether it's it's just going out and, and enjoying yourself. So, uh, balance. 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 Yeah, <laughs> balance. 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 Thank you for doing our TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a, look, I, I, we can say this subject for a long time. I just, there's, there's no right answer for any of these. Everyone finds their own way. Some people just lose their way, never find it again. They have to go somewhere else. So it's, it's hard to just pinpoint one thing. But I wish everybody the best, you know? It is, it is fucking difficult when you burn out. Uh, next question. Mm. Uh, this one I really like. I want you to answer this one first before I answer it. What does a creator owe their audience? That's like one of the best questions. Like fucking shout out to you. Listen, number one, as always. Nothing. You don't owe your audience anything. What do you owe yourself as a creator? All right. See, this is why Shakespeare should be dead. No, no, no. What do you owe? <laughs> no, no. Because. No, no. The question is this, Champsy. You should be creating for yourself before you create for your audience. What right? does a creator owe their audience? If right now someone told you, you are a content creator right now. Mm. We are also, as a, as a podcast, content creators. Mm. In life, we are content creators also in the things that we do. Yeah. Whether it was good or bad. Yeah. Okay. We've created content. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, fuck yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Uh, all good content. Uh, <laughs> all good content. Great. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the halal haram ratio to this content uh, is perfect. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> but what's the name? When you're working on your, whatever you're doing, right? Let's say this podcast. What do you owe the people that are tuning in? Do you owe them anything? Or as a creator, you're like, yo, I'm just going to create and whatever they take, they take. Because yes, I, I, yes. I, I, cause I sat with a bunch of creators and I asked this question to a lot of people and I've seen people give me some of the dumbest fucking answers in the world. I just want to see yours so I can give you some of the bullshit. So, so yeah, yeah you're not going to fall into that place. Don't worry about it. No, sure. For me, if you're asking me about my my me creating here as a content creator being here, I owe it to my audience to give you my best. And my best at some times might not be up to the level of power that I want it to be. But I know that I'll overcompensate for that sometimes on other times. So I'll try to average that out, you know? At the same time, sometimes I might not even be in that place. So I kind of owe it to them to push myself to be there. You know, mm. like a lot of times you've seen me, I show up here, I'm, I'm, I need a minute to get in that, that, that mood to, to be able to have a conversation in a relaxed way. You know, I'm, I'm usually yeah, stressed but, about something. Yeah, but that's more about you than yeah, the that's audience. What that's what I'm saying. I, I do that. I psych myself up. I recover my emotions in order to present something good for the audience. Because Look I feel you acting like you have a soul. Come on, uh, relax. You know, it, it's also here. You know, Turkish is not here. Flickers. <laughs> Turkish is not here. It's flickers sometimes. You know? We wouldn't have to show that we care. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I do care. I really do care. I do care about people who, to, to, to enjoy this shit, you know? Look, you do care. I, I'll give you that. You do care about, you know, giving the audience something of value. I, on the other hand, do not. I don't owe anybody anything. There we go. But I owe it to myself. If I'm going to do something, I need to do it to the best of my fucking abilities. And that was my first answer. Yeah. How they consume it, how they like it, how they accept it, how they hate it. That's people's opinions and thoughts and feelings. They have the right to it. They can feel however they want to feel and they can live however the fuck they want to live. And I can live however the fuck I want to live and I can create however the fuck I want to create. We all have that right. My job for myself and the Magistral Manners. And when I walk out of something, I know oh, I did my best. When I go into a task and I finish that task and I over deliver, I'm more happy that I, I gave a little bit extra. I found that extra thing. If I, if I don't make what I want to make, I know that was my best and I'll be okay with it. I'm content either way. But I've talked to people that, yo, this post got 5,000 likes in one minute. I don't know why this post is not getting 5,000 likes. I need to go back and post that thing in that same way to get those likes to balance again. Why? Because I need the consistency of likes and all of my pictures and all of my material. And like they twist and bend their life to what the audience wants or what they think the audience wants. And that's the, that's, that's the, the, that's the trick, what they think. 
and what they think may not be what reality matches. See, that's that's the first thing I thought of. Like as a creator, you really don't owe anybody except yourself. And that's for me one of the issues with with trying to, you know, do other creative things. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. You know we're still here, right? Are you bored? <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling a little guilty about um, politely asking y'all to fuck off. Oh, I just hugged up in his face. Oh, my God, he felt bad for, for a second there. And he probably was very bored. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God, let me call him. I'm call. pretty sure yeah, he was actually yeah, I know, I know, bored. I know, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on, let me call him. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh yeah, Turks. Oh, That's yeah, the Turks. kind of friends we are. So caring. I really felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad, bro. Yo, he's not gonna pick. Up. I would. Oh, yeah, see, he's I would up. love him more if he didn't pick up. Who this? <laughs> Who this? Would you like to answer some questions with us? What do you got? Uh, I would like to first report that I saw a woman in uh, socks and Crocs. Today and that shit is nasty. Uh, Turks, nasty. how's Dubai? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Any, before you ask, before you before you answer the question, know that you're still there. You can be deported. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, the only thing I'm saying is is, is weather reports. That's all. I, that's all I got for. It. Uh, well, don't worry we got Shamsi's cousins over there they got you yeah I'm at it don't, uh, that's, that's why the only thing I'm saying is weather reports because wow. I know they're yeah. <laughs> okay do we, we all know that Ahlam is uh, Shamsi's aunt just give her a call mm-hmm. for people mm-hmm. that don't know yeah. Fanana, Ahlam, Shamsi's aunt incorrect yeah. incorrect information sure. false your Mis- name is Mohammed yeah. Shamsi he Ahlam is Shamsi Mis- automatic misinformation automatic misinformation <laughs> <laughs> anyway Corrupted. Turks you on it for a minute uh, this is a question we were just uh, talking about. What does a creator so, owe their audience? What does a creator owe their audience? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the best that they can make. Thank you for joining us. The creator, <laughs> not not the audience, not the audience. Exactly. I'm sorry. Thank like, you. Yeah, it's 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 not the audience's expectations that the creator is supposed to cater to. It's that that's why you love the creator from the beginning. That's why you became a part of the audience because you loved what they did, mm. regardless of uh, how, like, what they did, or who they uh, they cared to. Do. So you should 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 you keep creating if you if you if you never find like a niche or an audience for you? Should you always keep creating and never try to alter your 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 creations to kind of speak to to it depends an on what you want to do. What's your motive? Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, yeah. Are you doing this to gain an audience, or are you doing this out of passion for what you're doing? If I'm making movies, uh, for like basically movies that I would like to make, at the end of the day, I don't, I can't really just make one movie and say, "Oh, the audience loved that." I'm gonna keep making more of that. Mm. I.e., George Lucas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, but then again, I can't just make whatever the fuck I want uh, without considering what my audience is looking for. Also, i.e., George Lucas. But uh, it's a it's a tight rope. It's a tight rope. Mm. Well, I think the the key the key thing there you mentioned is it depends on the motive that you're going for. Like, what are you trying to achieve here? What is the purpose? What is the message you're trying to deliver? And what are you trying to get out of it? Are you just trying to create something for the sake of throwing your masterpiece out there or do you want something sustainable all right next question we took to long I, that I, one. I, I can't hear anything by the way because i'm hearing y'all from the phone not from the uh from so, the mixer so what you, you hear us from the okay, phone after the mixer? what are you talking about yeah no you're plugged into the mixer i hear the background music louder than you guys are you for real yeah damn sucks for you my guy how about now can you hear me better okay, please Anyway, no. keep going. Who gives a shit? Wait, yes, I'm, man. Regardless. I'm Listen. You. All right, next question. This one, I'm, I'm so happy that you called for this one. Pizza Fight 2.0. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. I'm sure, okay. I'm, I'm okay. sure there isn't enough okay. space. So now I think it's, this is it's like round two or some shit. All right? Round two. Okay. Besides the patty and bun, what are the only three 
permissible burger toppings. Permissible. Yes. Uh, besides the patty and bun. Yes. Pickles is one. Um, can we count sauce as general sauce or we have to be specific with our sauces? Sauce is not a topping. Oh, are we? Sauce is sauce. Sauce is sauce. Sauce is sauce. Sauce Okay, so. Sauce. No, sauce is not sauce, my guy. No, no. The sauce. No, bro. Like, Yo, the Big Mac sauce is not the same as any other sauce, right? Yeah, but do you count that as a topping or do you consider that as a sauce? It's a different category no, sauce is a of addition. Sauce, a is, sauce a is a topping. No, no, it's a different category of addition. Okay, when you buy a burger anywhere else in the world, let's, let's go to America, right? America, okay. What do you get? Uh, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, bun, maybe onions. That's it. Yeah. And the patty. And the patty and the sauce. Yeah. What do we know? Do you get a sauce in the same, like a regular original hamburger? Uh, uh, original is either ketchup or fucking mayo or uh, mustard, not mayo. And you see, that's yeah. the thing. If if it's it's if Both. if you're if you're giving me the option, then there is no standard. So it's a different standard across the world. The the what is consistent okay. is so, the lettuce so, and the tomato. So we don't fight. Let's let's make a decision right here. Are sauces a topping? Yes or no? No. Let's take a vote. Turks. Um, I need y'all to, to tell me if I should consider sauce on my toppings specifically or generally. Should I say sauce or specify which kind of sauce? Mm. <laughs> you know what? No, he makes a good fucking point. Sauce is a fucking topping. Not everybody wants it. It's an option. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So sauce is a fucking topping. Fair. All right. So we got three. So. Okay. Okay. Oof. Okay. I, I still, I, I'm still not uh, comfortable with this uh, categorization, but nonetheless. You know, Turks are sitting in his okay. bathroom. I usually right put more than three things in my burgers, but sure, I'll try to limit that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My answer is lettuce. Thank you. Um, onions. And okay. mayo. Okay, <laughs> please yeah, don't call again. No, <laughs> Yo, I would add like, like hot sauce and mustard and pickles. So you and, no, and so you'd have lettuce, mayo, and onion. Yes, I have <laughs> Joe, with a crunch and a cream. I have okay, so if, crunch if it's, and cream that's the shit, man. Come on, if it's okay. only three things, yes, it's cheese, pickles, and onions. Oh shit, I forgot about cheese. There you go. Fuck you, son. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's what I'm saying. They're like, yo, oh, why why you want mayo so with a fucking off. onion? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, uh, I, I would consider cheese a topping, but not not cheese yeah, is a topping. Yeah, but it's, it's an option. Though. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, if, yeah, I, yeah if I if I had the option yeah. to add one sauce additional, it would be mustard. I'll go very simple. Cheese, lettuce, tomato. A classic. That's Done. a classic. Done. Yeah, that's a classic. Yes. And then that's you never know. go wrong. I don't. I don't approve of the tomato, but you do. You, you do. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you don't approve of tomatoes either, do you? Oh hell no! What yeah. are you talking about? I've fuck never seen you. someone hate tomatoes. Fuck tomatoes, like you. bro! Oh my god, bro! But, but I fuck with pizza. <laughs> but fuck tomatoes. <laughs> yo, I love marinara, but yo, that tomato, <laughs> <laughs> that solid one. Oh, but no. squash that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome. Uh, I remember I went to this place uh, in Aussieland, mm. right? And they made never called Ozzy Ozzy. Land. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't what's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 oh wow. Uh, what's the name? Uh, I went to this one uh, burger joint and uh, they used to have organic ketchup. What the fuck is that? Oh, that was wild. I was ketchup not it's organic. Tomatoes, pickles. And uh, no I, did, I didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't make it. Okay. Just think of a non-liquid ketchup. So it's like chunky? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, trust me. So it's tomato really paste. It's tomato paste. Okay. You ate tomato paste. Okay, nice. Taktago alayk al dilk. It does not sound appealing yet at all. Oh, my God. Next one? Go. This is kind of deep, though. Jump. All right. Biological identical twins are exactly the same. So how come they have two different consciousness? That's a deep question. Because they have two <laughs> different, different souls. brains. Brains? Brains? Why one? No, yeah, you're talking about consciousness. Mm. Do you associate that to the brain? Now that's a good question. Right? <laughs> now that's a good question. 
See, that brings up... What, the, what did I miss? Okay. <laughs> what conversation did I miss where you where said... Where does consciousness come brains from? Brains and consciousness. Okay, where does consciousness come from? What? And why... You're why, from the gut or some shit like that? that? Okay, look, consider, consider an identical twin. An identical twin is, is literally an, uh, one egg that is split into two and one sperm penetrates both yeah. eggs. So you yeah. end up having the exact same DNA, right? Half of the sun, Bush Yeah, born. Okay, different experiences. I see. <laughs> yeah, you are born. Exactly. You are born and you, you end up having different experiences. You live in different bodies. You see the world differently. You feel the world differently. You know? So your DNA is the same. But at the same time, the way you perceive the world, I don't believe is, is exactly identical. Imagine this was like, you know. It's a really good question, actually. Ba- I thought it was a very good question. Like, do you perceive the world identically if you're identical twins? Mm. Like, you have the same. No, 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 you don't. You, no, don't. you don't. You know, from you don't. the moment of birth, it's you over. Do not no, no, I mean, do you have the same. One of you is first and the other is second. Mm. And that stays with you till the end of time. <laughs> Turk, thank you for bringing logic That's here. When it okay, we understand the logic of it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but just the idea of it. Imagine back in the day when you saw twins, right? I'm not back, back and forth, science for everything else. Mm. You know, there's like, like what, like 1991? <laughs> <For science. laughs> yeah. 1991, 92, something around that time. When they were considered uh-huh. something yeah, about I mean, Everybody's young. Yeah, 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 you were saying. Everybody's yeah, young. They were abnormal. <laughs> because before 92, like people, if you guys didn't know this, before 92, they used to kill twins every time they were born. Yeah. That's why you never saw them before, but now you all see them. <laughs> 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 there's a copy. We don't need it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Ministry of Education. Yeah. Uh, what's the name? You need the copy. Uh, Next question. <laughs> Next. No, no, let's go. Go. This is actually a really good question. No, no. Okay, this brings up the question here. Where does consciousness actually come from? Does it actually come from your? Because if you construct a brain, mm. okay, can you make it think? You can't. Yes. You no, know, you can't. Not yet. But you probably won't be able to. No, uh, it's not. What, not what yet. do you mean? You can't make it think. If you build you construct a, a, a brain to the. Mil- mm, it's going to think. It's going to serve its function. It's going to think. But how are you going to make a brain? A, a, a heart, doesn't it beat? No, a heart is a much simpler, yes. uh, you know, yes. organ. Yes. A heart yeah. is a muscle. Yeah, brain. Up to a brain. What does a brain need to, to work? Brain. It needs a full body, right? So if you're going to build a brain, you're going to put it in a body. And, and you, you put you nerves, bro. The exactly. nerves. Exactly. Do you know if you take all the nerves in your body and you put it in a straight line, do you know how long that shit is? Long. Okay, that's that's not an answer. I know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> long. <laughs> like we know. Very. Do you know yeah. Turks? Uh, yeah, very long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Turks. All right, go back to your bathroom. Enough to go to the moon and back. <laughs> no, uh, you can wrap the Earth twice, uh, two uh, twice, two times and a half, I think, like that. Close enough. That's from one single human being. One one nafa. Yeah, when nafar. Yes. Exactly. So when someone says, the nerve on this person. <laughs> so like, oh, far the nerve. <laughs> so, so do animals, so animals have consciousness, right? Uh, well, look, I talk to my dogs all the time. I mean, and they listen. We vibe. Yeah. They listen. Uh, we uh, vibe. Yeah, they talk back. That's the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if they talk back, please, <laughs> like end it, okay? Bro, have you, oh my God, I saw this video a couple of days ago. This cat, this 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 guy who's deaf has a cat. Okay. So the cat recognized that the guy is deaf. So the cat learned sign language to talk to the guy. So the cat would tell the guy like, "I'm no, not." Well, well, no, 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 so no, no. anyway, it is 1926. <laughs> Yo, what you can t- teach dogs, you can't teach cats. Like, <laughs> what do you mean the cat learned sign language? Like the and cat, which language? <laughs> it's <a> sign language. <laughs> like the cat would would you know. There's like certain movements that the cat would do just to mime like, oh, I need food or water or I want to go out. Or so the cat understood that this person can't hear. So he started making moves and then she understood that these moves so, mean these things. Yeah. And you taught it. Yeah. And the same way that you teach a dog. Yeah. Or, or Okay, so conditioning, basically. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah. Conditioning. So, so cats are evil. Okay, yeah. cats are the superior. Shamsi made it sound like she went to like a two-week course. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I want to set up a cat, cat training academy now. <laughs> I want to see that thumb. Where's that thumb? Yeah. <laughs> Considering it is a new idea. Uh, what is the dumbest? Next question. Mm. What's the dumbest opinion from someone you otherwise respect? What Shamsi just said. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you yeah, can drink cats. Right that's, that's a dumb opinion. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, the internet is proof. <laughs> no, it's like no. You want to open an academy for cats? <laughs> oh, that one <laughs> for sign language. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. 
<laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take that as, as energy to go on. Oh. What's the dumbest opinion? Oh my God. Yeah. What's the dumbest opinion from someone you otherwise respect? Like I've heard the earth is flat. Like that's just a real, and somebody was really believing that. Yeah, yeah, let's come on. Look, I know you want to mention the earth is flat every time, but you know, out of respect and love for our friend, we need to mention his name. Fuck, uh, Elmo. fuck Elmo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and your stupid fucking idea. Yeah, fuck Elmo. Okay. And his flat earth. Do not theory. believe the internet, my guy. <laughs> what happens at the end? This is the best one you told me. Yeah. He was like, see, when you're going from like Australia to LA, I told him it's a straight line. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, they tell you on the map it's a straight line, but it's actually it's doing circles. Oh, wow. <laughs> Until it fucks it. <laughs> because the map makers have a monopoly on the world. You know? They want to keep selling globes. <laughs> Fuck Elmo. <laughs> you know? I can't remember like a dumb opinion from someone that otherwise respect. That's really dumb. Because opinion. I don't respect anyone. No. Oh, wow. Harsh. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Harsh. Uh, my dad's calling me. <laughs> Hi, pops. Sorry, I'm, I'm, out. I'm, I'm out. joking. I'm, I'm joking. Out. Get over here. Get over here. Um, <laughs> get over here. Uh, get over here. Where are you going? What? 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 Nothing. Dad, that's my respect. Uh, I got none. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, next question. Next question. All right. Why is Saudi comedy still stuck in the Tosh Ma- Tosh Tosh Ma- Tosh days? Is there a distant Saudi comedy style? Hmm. Uh, my bad. It's a it's a theme song. That hits. Hits. PTSD. It just slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the two, the two that I fucking hate when it comes to say jingles. It's that one, and Ramadan NBC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you have all the all the jingles memorized, bro. Those two. Every Come time on, I I'm hear a, it, like I like I, my my fist just clenches. <laughs> Shuf, to be honest, I I would say we have moved beyond the Tosh Matash era. Like I don't know what you're in comedy. Is. Yeah. What's the last Arabic comedy movie you saw? Saudi comedy for me. Lajidity. Yes, for you. Masamir. Masamir has evolved Saudi comedy to the point where I it it is it is the the one thing that is commenting on. Things that are happening in society, similar to what Tosh used to do. That's animation. It's counts as comedy. Okay. Okay. Doesn't it count as comedy? Also, YouTube counts as comedy. If you're talking about TV, there's nothing on TV that people are watching nowadays. Are there any? Yes, there is. You just have no idea because you don't pay attention comedy? to these things. Yes. I don't. Saudi comedy. I, Saudi comedy. I haven't heard Champs, of it. You barely sit on Netflix. You can sit on NBC. Well, you see, that's the thing. You you mm. hear about shows through people that you know. Exactly. So if, I, if I'm if i not getting these recommendations, then nothing's So really... you're not paying attention. Well, maybe. Because no one's recommending for you. Exactly. Nobody's... Because people have to serve you. You're not searching for yourself. Mm. No, it's not about people serving me. Like mm. when I watch a good show, I always tell people about it. Yo, this is a good show. You what was the last show. Saudi show you watched? I watched a few episodes of Shash. <laughs> okay. It's because we mentioned it here. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay That's it. That's the reason you yeah, was like. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Anyway, it's trash. Okay. It needs work. It needs work. Look, well, I, the audience is eating it up. That's the issue. I mean, we've the seen young some audience. Good comedy come out on YouTube, and it's 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 good shit. The, the things that we saw on YouTube is good shit, but it's not translating to TV because the TV audience. Is still eating that shit up. Yes, the old, but the 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 the, the 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 comedy that no no I'm not uh, Tilfaz did a great job on sketches on, on their YouTube show their sketches, mm. uh, but uh, on TV, I has to know no the audience is still uh, the, stuck in that yeah 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 the shit yeah shabab al boom whatever the fuck they're called. Shabab al boom yes. kind of shit. Yes. Yes. Is and they're loving it. So what? Is that all right? It, 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 it's on TV and it's on YouTube. Mm. Everything on TV is on YouTube. Yeah. But the TV audience is not really the audience that we belong to. That. <laughs> I just, just hung up, up in this I just face. hung up in his face. Oh, wow, very nice. I just hung up in his face. Look, listen, I see his point. I understand his point. But honestly, for me, right now, I don't see a distinction between TV audiences and online audience. I think right now, if you're a creator, you are a creator, whether that's TV or on, on, on YouTube. You know? So if you I want, don't know what Shams has said, but I disagree. I don't see a distinction between... My bad, I hung up in your face. Uh, I don't see a distinction, okay. Turks, between TV audiences and online audiences. Then right now... If I'm There's looking, a huge fucking difference between both. No, no, but I'm look, if I'm looking at 
a creator, as a creator point of view, the evolution of Saudi comedy after Tosh happened on online. It happened through YouTube. It happened through the shows that turned And died. About. And then some of those people went and evolved to, to bigger things, Tidfaz being one of those people. And then you had the Masamir team who also evolved to different things. They ended up uh, going to Netflix as well and yeah, expanding in different ways. Tosh, so for me, Tosh, the, Tosh, no, no, those are the people that made it out. And there's oh, no, no, no comedy no. on uh, TV. There's Th a lot those, of comedy still Hold on, hold on, on Turks, TV. Turks. What he's saying is that these people evolved from what they were into something else. Yeah. yeah. So let's take the Fast 11 as an example. So the Fast 11 was on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And they went to movies. Yeah. Are the movies slapping? Well, they are the things that they're involved in. Is it getting the same love as the, what they were doing on YouTube? Not yet. No, not at the moment. The answer is yes. The answer is uh, what you said not yet. Not yet. Yes. Why is it not yet? Then no, they haven't. We haven't seen the full range of the potential. because the people. Remember when we? Oh, uh, you weren't there. We were somewhere, and someone told me let the creators create, and I told them the consumer is going to pay. You know, people buy with their with their exactly. eyeballs with their time. The consumer is the one who's going to decide wh what your work is worth. Mm. Now you can blow up anywhere in any social platform you want, but if it doesn't translate anywhere else, it's not going to work, and that's the problem. Everybody that went out of YouTube try to go into TV, the majority of them failed. Why? It didn't translate. The audience that's over there is different than the audience from over there. I agree. So the comedy is sitting over there that you relate to, it doesn't mean it's for the mass. The mass is still sitting on NBC. Sadly. With all due love to NBC. Shout out to NBC. We'll see you soon. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by NBC. I mean, listen, I think, I think at this point, YouTube has offered a platform for a lot of creators to not feel obligated to kind of serve the, the audience that NBC has. Then at the end of the day, as you mentioned, it's the mass. So you need to find something that serves the majority of people. So that limits sometimes your creative freedoms as a creator. If you want to create something, to, no, no, no. That's, that's you're you're putting yourself in someone's shoes and you're thinking on their behalf. The, we can't do that. We can because they have the knowledge and they they've been here longer than us, so we can't really speak on their behalf. But what we can speak on True. is the audience. Because uh, here, you go out in the street right now. You stop someone. You show them something from YouTube. How many of the people that you well, out of ten? Out of the 10 people you meet, how many of them will actually know what the fuck it is? You, something that you, on YouTube, that you think is funny, that a lot of people think is funny, and everybody knows who it is. How many people you think in the street will know who it is? Two. Thank you. Huh. Internet never translated to television. Television is still the same old television. Ramadan is still Ramadan. We still have that one chick in Ramadan that everybody wants to talk about. We still have the same shitty ass shows that we always had forever in Ramadan. Same drama. The same if drama. Ramadan is our peak month where everything comes out and that's the result, it speaks for itself, my guy. I don't need to tell you what, what the audience thinks because the audience is eating that old shit up. Could it be that, that, that our generation, that generation before us are still on TV, never made it social media? Well, Anna, that's what I feel. Could that be it? Yeah. Then why is still TV banging harder than fucking no, social no, that media? That generation still exists and that generation mm. still has buying power. Well, the majority of the country is under 30 though. Under 30 doesn't mean they're on TV. The, that audience is on TV. Doesn't mean the the the, the There's people. iPads in schools now. <clears throat> Everybody is on social media now. Hey, every, the younger generation. Dogs are on social media yeah, now. The younger generations in, in social media. The older generation not has fully embraced social media. Yes, but I'm telling you, the majority of the country is young, right? The majority is on social media. Okay. We the biggest country around here that's on social media is us in Egypt. Yes. Right? But still, TV hasn't changed. So you're, t you're talking about TV needs to change, to evolve, to, to speak to this audience that now yeah. exists. I agree. It does need to. And I think they've been trying to do that. No. You don't think they have? No, 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 no. I mean, SBC at least has. No, no, no. no. When they rebranded and they came they out. They rebranded and did what? They came out with a bunch of different new shows. What are they? Name one. Uh, honestly, well, I never, I never, I never really, it never really caught on with me. Thank you. What did you say? Harakat yalla shabab and everything and, and hashtag shows and then the, the program is Trend. not really catered to to you. Yeah, trend stuff. Mm. It's not really catered to you. It's catered to a different audience, and the audience is is the one that is still sticking to TV. The audience that is watching TV. 
Well, the question is... And Shabab al-Bum is still hitting hard, I assume. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not keeping up with it. Never did, actually. Ooh, <laughs> but uh, Maybe. that's what's selling. That's what the audience wants. Mm. Mm. Yani, shuf, to be honest, I think TV's audience... And it dwindles with time. Is will be dwindling with time. I think a lot of people have have changed their their consumption habits to to fit a more streaming based uh, uh, you know concept. Whether it's watching things on YouTube or on Netflix or on Shahid. So either way, whatever is going to come out on TV is going to end up on the streaming. At least if we're talking about NBC, but it's about talking to the younger audiences. And is that being done successfully? Not yet. Again, we go back to that point. Not yet. Maybe Tilfaz still hasn't done that, but I think uh, I think Masamir has been able to do that for comedy, at least speak for that new generation for comedy. But uh, Masamir is not the bar, though. Because that was a long time ago. No, no, it's it's doing something different in terms of of, of yes, but when animation. you look exactly yeah. when you look at Masamir, that's animation. There's yeah. a certain demographic that will look into it, mm. but the major demographic but the is out there. Though. Yeah, the, uh, we're not saying it's not it's not funny, it's not hilarious. We would fucking love Masamir. We're not denying any of that. Yeah. But yeah. it's how many people actually are going to Masamir in terms of a whole country? I think for the younger generation, I think it's Masamir speaks to them more than a again. Lot I, you of do other not have on. any data to say that. No, no. Into you're saying that. Uh, By the way, Masamir speaks more to us than the younger generation. So stop that. You don't think so? It I speaks to the younger percent. generation. It's funny to a younger generation, but we get the words. The matisma yam you know exactly what's going down. Mm. <laughs> then we were part of the YouTube. Uh, but I'm saying, but you understood years, it when, he, when they did ago. it. They didn't explain to you what it was. You understood what it was. Mm. That's why I don't look at Masamir. That's a different lane. It's a totally different lane. I think in terms of of comedy, it's it's the one raising the flag. Even I, even though I I understand your point, the audience is different. It's not going to be as mass as as as. Live There's a was. difference between writing, and animation. Than actually performing and comedy. Okay. When you're doing a comedic movie, it has to be funny from the script to the person to your fucking hand movements. It requires more. That's why you can't put animation along with that. Those they're separate, bro. You're asking a human to do all of that in front of you while you're animating something for visually for you to understand. What you can pull off in animation, you can't pull it off in uh because you have more, shows. more control in animation. Exactly. But at the same time, animation requires much more work. Yes, but I could do a full cinematic scene like The Matrix in animation that would be cheaper than the real one. Mm, fair. True. I mean, in terms of how that, we still have a long way to go, I think, of comedy to catch up. Flash still remains the standard. Oh. I, my respect to them. Like, I mean, shit. How long? When did they stop? 20 years. They did, I think, 20 years. Go. And, anyway, and the, bro, I would love to have a box set of that. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Really? <laughs> no, you don't. Like, Not really. No, I would. I would really like to have a box set of that. Uh, next question. We're about to bounce in a few. Anyway, go. Uh, should everyone get their ass beat at least once? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look, if it's only once, Teaching moments. <laughs> if it's only once, you need to be a beat down. You need to be like a fucking real beat down. So like you understand, you remember for the rest of your life. Like don't smack him like, mm -hmm. hey, hey, beat your ass. No, 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 beat the shit out of him. Scar his People soul. need to be humble. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. So is, can, <laughs> yeah, do you know, do you have friends that never got hit? Do I have friends that never got hit? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, see, you see how you're like, oh mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. We should beat their ass ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we should set them up. They really should. Should they have us? Oh. Sometimes bad things happen. All right. Next question. Actually, I'm going to go back to it. Um, look, they should. But no traumas, please. <laughs> I did say you get, whoop his ass. I mean, it's always going to be traumatic, right? You just no, whooped. no, no. Look, come on. What are you talking about? For a day or two. What do you mean it's going to be traumatic? The first time, maybe like, oh, what's going on? But yo, teach him young. <laughs> it sticks it sticks look at Turks now look he didn't say a single word he's, he's waiting for this conversation what? to be over because I've been humbled before <laughs> been there done that. shout out Papa Turks not you the no, no, Papa no, no, Turks no no no, no, no. are you, are you going to beat your kids me 
would you beat your kids? With or knowledge. I'll beat them with knowledge. Video? Would you give them the opportunity to get a beat down at school at some point? Like, would you see them like wearing something? Like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that no, no, looks cool. Go to school. Go to school. Let's, let's, let's see how that goes. Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely going to happen. I might want to watch this man. But will I actually mm-hmm. beat my kids' ass? I'm not going on record on this one, my guy. They will, my future kids will not sue me, bro. The answer is no. He, he said it. Uh, no. It's life. No no. <laughs> no, no, I will never beat their ass publicly. <laughs> <laughs> I do not condone beating kids. But um, but it depends on what type of beating. You know, anyway, so, 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 well, <laughs> kids are rational kid human beings that should be talked to like adults. By a stranger. Uh huh. That you like, might be a teachable moment. Do you like a stranger to beat you? No, that's a self defense. <laughs> All right, cool. Were you ever beaten by like Madri? Can end in a can end in a for the policy and oh tell I any your cousin your manic can have a book in. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. You know, I will tell you a story. One of my friend's dad, who supposedly thought he was my uncle for some fucking reason, okay, pulled that shit off. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. Didn't go well for him. Did I have a fun time? Did I have a fun time? No, yeah. And then, like, my... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then things happened, and then I just remembered that he retired and he chose with pop, so mm. <laughs> or he might talk to pop, so I'm not gonna say anything. Sure, yeah. But yeah, but but yeah, he tried. Good times. Yeah, he tried. Mm. And I looked at both, and I was like, "Yo, I need an explanation, this bitch." I need to know what the hell's going hey, on. Hey, what the who the fuck is this random person trying to put his hands on me? Nah, early on, can fee can fee. Oh, tell all of them, all of them, Same thing, yeah. All of them. Even like through my uncles and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. There is no way. Any of my uncles can whoop any of my cousins ass. Exactly. I wish. <laughs> I'll put it right there. My cousins are watching this. Yeah. I wish. I'll put it right there. I wish. Someone would. Someone would. Okay. I wish. One day. Oh man, look, sometimes life is short for some people. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about that time. Sometimes somebody needs to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Uncle. <laughs> it's about that time. Good night. Once in life. All right. Would you rather own a home you hate or rent one that you love? Tarek, you first. And Tarek. Own a sleep. home I or rent. I'd rent a home I love. I don't care about like if I'm owning or or, or renting, as mm-hmm. long as I have a, a good environment to live in. Okay. But owning a home I hate would give me the opportunity to improve on it. Mm-hmm. Is that a possibility? Is that an option? Well, you are an architect, so I can't tell you no. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll own something I hate and just like work on that shit. Mm. I suppose. Can I own something yeah. I hate and rent it out so I can go and rent something I like? No, I mean, if it I became I have... a business plan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there's staffing, exactly. there's accounting. Uh, Does owning it mean I'm stuck to it? Doesn't mean that. I, I just own it. I can just give it to somebody else, live there. And go I said own a house, not a corporate company. I mean, that would be my answer. Loopholes. Uh, Oh. No, this is the lifestyle. This is the lifestyle. Uh, I'm always own over rent. Own over rent. That's I mean. generally, yeah. But the aesthetic of the house. Bro, own over rent. And with, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't in, hate, if you hate the home, just rent it out and, and go find no, something. No, no, no. You own and build for the next, you know? Don't just own and say, that's, it, that's all I have. Like, if you're renting... <laughs> Look, there's this beautiful penthouse that I saw somewhere. Okay? Mm. I'm not going to mention where it is. Gorgeous. Okay. Outdoor, indoor swimming pool. It's a full fucking floor. Private elevator, everything. It was for $3,500 a month. Okay. Pricey. It's pricey, mm. right? So, all my friends are listening listen to this one and saying, pricey, huh? Mm. So... <laughs> So when you look at it, it's fucking beautiful. It's gorgeous. Amazing location. Everything about it is amazing. You can have the best fucking lounges over there. I had to hold my words carefully mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. And as much as I love to have that fucking place and I can afford it, right? I still tell myself, when I'm retired, bro, all that money that was gone, what, what am I going to really own? What's my retirement look like? What's Adil's like old age retirement looks like. What is he doing? How is he functioning? 
Is he still going to be in a fucking job trying to pay off his fucking beautiful rented apartment? How does it look like? Or he's just enjoying himself in his ugly little house. Yeah, but if you're renting... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, trust me. Yeah, the ugly little house when you're rent-free. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, exactly, enjoying yourself. Property is the best thing to own. Yeah. And also, it is an asset that you can move on. From exactly. Later. Yes. Exactly. Money man. Yes. yes. See, this is how you do you it. never tips. lose. Uh, please post the original picture of the background. You go away. What? When are we getting the... <laughs> you know, you can just watch it anytime what you want, background? right? Uh, they're talking about the... What's the name? The picture for the questions. Okay. No. It's oh, ours. No, that's gonna. private property. Uh, exactly. <laughs> when are we getting the PTK anime? Mm. Mm. I mean, we've been ducks already. Mm. of ducks. And we've been animized also. Also that one. Yes. But the question is, when are we getting? When are they getting? We already, we already have. There's a bidding war between Manga Productions and Meerkat right now. I know. Yeah, once they, um, once they figure it out, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something out. Well, since Turks wants to leak it, let's just put it out there. Our anime will be coming in the 13th of the 13th month. <laughs> In 2022. <laughs> no, 2013. Did you say 2013? 2013. 13, 13, 2013. We're waiting. We're waiting. 2013. I mean, what kind of... <laughs> that is the best fucking year. I mean, what... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to think what kind of anime would you even be like the one that's about to come out yeah JMC. Yeah, what's the, in what's, the 2013 what's the storyline though <laughs> let's let's leak it a little no bit. no no we're not gonna leak the storyline no. Shamsi was lost no, no, stay tuned. <laughs> exactly exactly there we go there we go it involves Shamsi, a cat and marriage <laughs> no we leave it at that that's the first episode though <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> it's like an animated black mirror but funny Looking. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Do we have one more? A bro calls pizza za. As in, yo, let's go get some zas. Can I kill him for the sake of society? I don't know. What are you talking about? Is that you? No. <laughs> I'm just saying. The man is innovative with language. By the way, that's our boy who wrote this. Oh, for Jamsie, real? Have you even called a pizza zas? I haven't had a pizza in a minute, to be honest. Mm. You're not a man of taste. I mean, uh, true. Also, I agree with that. <laughs> what an asshole. Ah, one more question for you, Bounce. One more. Do y'all want a heavy or do you want a light? Heavy. Let's go. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, okay, no, okay, no, okay. Let's okay. make it fun. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I'm going to ask you this question while I go, before I go to that one. If animals could... Which species would be some rude ass fuckers? If animals could yes. talk, I'm guessing. Which species would be rude ass fuckers? Yes. Hyenas. I think squirrels would be assholes. No, they won't. What are you I talking don't know. about? Hyenas. Hyenas? Hyenas will whoop your ass and give you that laugh. Where, where, okay, where the fuck were you going to see a hyena? I'm like, I'm talking about. Shad <laughs> Hathin. <laughs> no. Brandon Shadow Suffer, I mean. I'm talking about animals you're going to see on a, on a regular basis. On a regular basis? Yeah. Well, you. Bro, have you have you not have you never thought of squirrels as being evil motherfuckers? No, have Wait, you been me? attacked? Where the fuck me? are you gonna see squirrels? Yeah, sure. Mad, on trees. They have chestnuts. Please. Okay, and where are they? In in places. I'm not, I'm not gonna see squirrels anytime soon. خلاص فك ساكت. أنت حدك ضب. I can take this opportunity to say I love squirrels. I think they're great animals, very okay. majestic. So this is all you want to do, best. Yo, animals. ostriches. Ostriches are gonna be like oh. fucking hell. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bruh. Why? Because they stun? Ostriches are, are llamas. The they llamas. 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 Really... Llamas gonna be spitting on your face anywhere you go, son. But llamas are chill, though. Hey, they like... they be chilling to yeah. <laughs> just smack you from like 16 they yards. They do that sound like I don't care. Uh-huh. Like camels are are somewhat difficult to animals. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how llamas any fit there. What are you talking about? The camels like, usually kick people as well, don't they? All right. There's two questions I want to go through before we bounce, all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Marty, both of you are boring as hell. Okay. Can trust be rebuilt after being betrayed? I'll let you work on okay, that bye. one. Hey, bye. Have a beautiful time. Hey, hey, 
what's happening? What's going on? I got shit to do. We got, got Turks got, on the line. Oh, what is popping? It can be, but it will never be the same. You can trust the person again, but you you will always remember what that person did. Mm. Should we just uh, what's that Bush uh, quote? Fool me once, can't fool me again. <laughs> That wasn't it. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that wasn't it. The bush. <laughs> that was the bush quote. <laughs> that was. That was it. You can't fool me once. Kill this guy. Fool me twice. You can't fool me again. Fool me once. Uh, shame on you. Yeah, fool me twice. Me. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> fool me twice. You can't fool me again. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So well, let's just go with uh, Shamsi's answer real quick. Well, it depends on the person. You know, you all know that. It depends on what trust needs to be rebuilt. What level of trust has been yeah, betrayed? Because uh, not all trust are the same fucking trust. Yeah. Like, I trust you to take out the trash, but I don't trust you to take my car to for maintenance. You know what I mean? Like, there's different fucking levels to trust. So, eh, it depends, bro. This is a very hard question. You can't just, you know, throw it out like that. You need to tell us your real story. What happened to you so we can really talk about it. Mm. <laughs> so I'm trying to go into my life, bitch. Give, it, give us context. <laughs> Insights. Highlights. All right, this one. How to deal with a breakup? Where one side is trying to move on and the other side does not. Which side are you? <laughs> this is like, you know, uh, this is not a gang warfare. Uh, no, like, okay. You know, okay. Uh, which side are you on this team? Are you trying to move on? Are you not trying to move on? <laughs> what do you want, person? Okay, I'll read to you again. Mm. It's very obvious. How to deal with a breakup where one side is trying to move on and the other side doesn't. So he's trying to move on. Basically. Okay. Yeah, let's go with he. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with he. Okay. Yeah. Different he, I don't know if it's a he. No, 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 no. It's a he, it's a he. It's a he. It's a he. I'm going to give you his full name also? Like block. Let's start, let's start there. Cut connections. You can't cut connections. No, no, cut connections. You cannot cut connections. Yo, if someone sticking to you doesn't want to leave, you have to give them a reason to leave. There has to be a reason. If you're just going to ignore, that shit will never fucking go away. Is that enough reason? Like, I don't want to give you my my time and and attention. Like, well, until you decided that that, that was a new decision. <laughs> <laughs> no. So are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you decided for a breakup. Okay. I did it. Oh wow! All right, so you broke up. I'm still with you. Damn. I know someone like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's I know a... someone who went through something like that. I don't know someone like that. Shit. Fuck that shit. Okay. Yeah. How 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 do homie? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm you. telling you. Like I I, I lived it like you know first time with him. I mean, he, 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 at that point, I don't believe a rational discussion is going to be able to help. Oh no, uh, he had a very rational mm-hmm. discussion. Yeah, I, I don't, like, he had a very rational discussion with amazing points, and he really explained like yo how this is very bad for the both of us. She didn't give a shit. Exactly, <laughs> she, I, don't, she, I, she I wouldn't believe fuck. that the, that would help. <laughs> and at the same time, you don't want to hurt this person, right? So you don't want to go and do something that would, you know, يضرهم. So that's why I tried as much as you can put distance there. There's a problem for that one. What? I, I don't condone anything I'm about to say, mm-hmm. but... Sometimes you gotta. Yeah, sometimes some people are just not going to get the fucking message. So you just need to, this is, consider this is self-defense. Yes. Uh, what was it? Preemptory, what was it? I, I know someone... Preemptive strike. Who every time he got into a fight with this girl, she goes to the ER. This guy's a fucking asshole. No, I'm not talking about he beats her. Oh, shit. No. She goes to the ER. She goes to the ER. Oh, so she's the fucking asshole. Yes. Oh, shit. She's the fucking, all the drama. Yeah, homie, homie, that's a flag, homie. That's He that's learned like, it. what every single IV does. So the second he walks in, he's like, ah, Mugadi. he just walks away. <laughs> You're not dying. He just walks away. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so it's a, it's a drama attack. Oh. Yes. Oh, damn. Every time he's about to leave. She's she, in the she, hospital. Like she, she falls or something. Yes. She doesn't fall on shit. She just goes, She slips. And then calls him, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I remember once we would come back from Dubai. Bro, that's annoying. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story. Yo, fuck this and fuck him. All right. Let me yeah. tell you the story. All right. We came back from Dubai. Sorry, guy. No, no, fuck him. <laughs> okay. All right. We came back from Dubai. All vibes. Madrash. I told him before we left, yo. Keep your crazy ass woman away from me. <laughs> okay. I don't want the crazy in my life. Fair. Deal right. with the crazy. You yeah. want to come with us? Hayak, but deal with the crazy. Just leave it away from me. Hey, you don't bring the crazy to us. Okay. Second, we landed. I was surprised first that she didn't talk to him for like the whole weekend. 
I'm like, yo, this person changed. Second we landed, bro. His phone just ding, 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 ding. All these WhatsApp messages, bro, opens it up. Hey. I'm in town. Fucking IV. Oh, shit. Med- yeah, a full fucking scale. Like, yo, like she, like she hit 10 cars and she flipped over. None of that. But she created a whole fucking scene, bro. We were speeding. We landed in Bahrain. From Bahrain, we drove down, but we were flying. And we get there. This bitch is taking some fucking random ass IV. Doctor was like, there's nothing wrong. She just walked in and said she had, a, she had a headache. Oh, wow. And she did this whole fucking scene, bro. She sends him like pictures of like, you know, she's like, was, you know, see, okay, so here now we need to, we need to let this person know that yo, flags, my guy, science, like, just, whoa. It's not that easy. You can decide to fucking move on. You can decide from here to fucking next year. But you got some psycho ass motherfuckers that never gonna let you go. And this goes for he or she. We're not heading one side because I know some crazy fucks too. So raise the moat, basically put some spikes on the fucking castle walls. Like what exactly? What are you gonna do? Look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what you can do, and this is for you, all you fellas and ladies, just to make it all simple. What well, ladies? I'm just gonna be hard change on you your to number. do this. No, 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 you didn't change your number. Shit. Which I mean, that's such an excessive thing to do. No, no, you don't have to. Do more of them the first time, second time, the third time if they don't understand. Kulina amin, and make this official. And then shit's gonna fucking change. Simple as that. Yeah, that's what our friend went through. We got to that point. She's like, yo, this is her phone number. This is her name. We had a relationship. Yeah, he did, he did everything. Okay. Everything. Like, I want, that's it. I want out. Honesty is the best policy. Yes. He went and he filed an official fucking police report. And I am being harassed yes. by this crazy lady. Stida, everything. Mahkama. Oh, shit. Yeah, he went through the whole thing. Anyway, see, that's that's just like a whole nine months and a whole nine Hey, yards, man. You know? Would you rather have a fucking peace of mind or someone coming to your office, walking into your office in front of your colleague? Yo, that's great, great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, bro. Hi. Yes. That's why, like, I always tell all my boys, <clears throat> like, you know, be careful of these uh, people who just say hello and act nice. Mm-hmm. Yo, nice sometimes is crazy. Yeah. Do you remember that time when we were standing and that, cra- that, that nice person came to us? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? I mean, that happens a lot. Yes, yeah. but, but you know that nice person. Yeah. We keep seeing him everywhere. Yeah. Super nice. Mm. Super crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Turks is lucky he doesn't come with us to these little things. He's, he's not. A, he's not. A, is he even still here? I have no idea. Oh yeah, he is. Oh wow! Thank you, Turks, for still being here. <laughs> Turks has Packing my bag. I don't know about y'all. To be honest, <laughs> forgot about y'all stories. I mean, General rule of thumb: try to give someone closure and then bounce and, and, and try to. I don't know. Move on. All right. Well, again, the point is you are trying to that, move that's, on. That's common sense, Turks, but common sense doesn't work around here. That's, that, that, well, that's why there's a block button. There's, um, <laughs> Bro, reach out to their people. Uh, tell them to rein in their person. Yeah. No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, bro. No, there's no, moving no. abroad. There's it's a lot moving of abroad. Did you, did you know Changing identity. identity. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I heard, yeah, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Girl Turks, mustache. first off, genders, I would saying, love to like, see you just change your numbers, change your house, your car. I'd love to see you grow a mustache. He has a mustache. Like, like a mustache. new mustache that hides him from... First off, no one can grow a mustache like you, okay? No one has a bush on their face. It's a stick. It's That's a, one. It's a skill. Just imagine George Bush on your face for a minute. Anyway, so... <laughs> he fooled me once. He can't. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, doesn't know. Shams shaves by the hour. Just in case. He doesn't want to go... Misinformation. <laughs> Misinformation. Once uh, again. Shams, uh, someone told me, he's like, I bet your boy shaves like after 10 minutes. That's not by the hour. That's okay, no, 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 I can't say that. I just remember, yeah. oh, yeah. yo, I was about to say something really awful. Okay, thank you for holding back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy, see, this is how you care about friends. Yeah. You look out for friends. Exactly. Yes. Look at this harmony. Yes. Jeed's harmony. Yeah. <laughs> With the flicks and everything. And no, albums. Please stop. Please I mean, stop. Anyway, we out? We out. Oh, halas. We have no more questions. Bro, I have like a good 30 more questions, bro. But Turks is done packing. Are you done packing, Turks? <laughs> okay, so. Did you have fun in Dubai, Turks? Did you get us any gifts? Did you buy us anything? I bought you something, but y'all better pay me back. But I'm talking about gifts, Turks. 
Was that Terex? Uh, no, I don't know back then. You know, thoughtful, but, thoughtful uh, uh, showcases of friendship. But what friendship? Damn, homie. That's cool. Okay, Terex. I mean, ouch. Uh, yes, ma'am. I just got, I just got a message, and I need to read it aloud for you. Aziz al Muatan. أحذر من التعامل مع المكاتب الهندسية الوهمية والغير مرخصة في المملكة. Uh, so whatever you're going to give me uh, Turks, uh, صراحة uh, I need uh, <laughs> I need receipts <laughs> and photos of the store. <laughs> oh, fucking Turks. We wish you, my guy. Wish you were here. To be honest, uh, for the audience, listen. To be honest, I wasn't even gonna do this fucking episode. I honestly, at all, I'm very fucking busy. But we're glad. But yeah. We're so glad that Turks called and saved us. Yes, because because exactly. none of us none of us have fucking energy. Exactly. So thank you, Turks, uh, for always being an indivisible member of this. Turks doesn't give a shit. Super team. Turks. <laughs> wow. Turks, stop putting the fucking phone on the bed and on mute. Put it next to you. Yeah, leave the men alone. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's what, up? You, want to say, oh, you guys are welcome. I value this friendship. I am here to save the day. Oh, yeah. please yeah. don't. No, no. Take for your Don't never yeah. do that in your yeah. life. That would be nice. No, no, no. Oh. But what I want to say is that, like, you know, are you alone in the bedroom? I mean, technically. What is alone? <laughs> what is, what is alone? What, if I have my conscience in my yeah, soul, I'm, am I I'm really alone? I'm searching for ghosts right now mm. after, after that statement. I'm kind of searching for Well, anyway, if you do get in trouble, no, it's my fault. I don't know what's happening, but hey, I'm going to... You just I'm wait for the episode. Sleep tight, Turks. Yes, yeah, Turks, you're going to have a fun day tomorrow. <laughs> oh, shit. Have a very good night, my friend. <laughs> and, uh... You on, know, that note, on that note. On that note, we out. Let's go, let's go. Peace, peace. Peace, Turks. Peace. Peace.